every evening gown tells a story. In the world of pageants, the Miss Universe is the pinnacle of achievement, and the evening gown competition is an essential anticipated part of the event. From the nearly see-through metallic chain dress to mesmerizing red gown with volcanic vibes, pageant hopefuls have paraded their most show-stopping routines across the Miss Universe stage since 1952. Hello everyone and welcome to Crown Sisters. In today's episode, I give you a Miss Universe Top 10 Most Memorable and Most Iconic Gold Evening Gowns in Recent History. But before we begin, please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Go on, I know you want to. Without further ado, here's the color of wealth and wisdom in the magical presence of gold. At number 10, Ireland in 2010, looking radiant in her evening gown, Rosanna Purcell was wearing one of the most expensive gowns in the history of Miss Universe. This gown really worked. The elegance and fitment of the gown showed off her fabulous curves. The gold champagne tone complemented her skin, whilst the embroidery across the shoulder added a unique detail. Though it was a shame that the sash obscured much of the beautiful detail, and I was not a fan of the do or that necklace, but she still looked fabulous. I honestly think if she had restyled in a more modern way, she could possibly have won the entire pageant, especially as she was one of the favorites to win the crown that evening. Up next, we have Columbia in 2008. You either love or hate this dress. The mottled gold and white fabric produce a complicated silhouette when static. However, when in motion, the dress came to life. Designed by Colombian designer Beatriz Camacho, this pseudo Grecian gown deserves its place on our list. The billowing folds of the garments seemingly came alive as she glided across the stage. And when she twirled, the gown danced with her. I believe this dress allowed Taliana Vargas to perform her way to a second place finish in 2008. Love it or hate it, this gown earned one of the highest evening gown scores in Miss Universe history. At number 8, Trinidad and Tobago in 1997. Margot Rita Bourgeois was a golden goddess in this flowing creation from designer Peter Elias. The gown was covered in gold sequins and foils. I would have loved to see the dress without the cape. Still, she looked regal and glowed as she walked the runway. I love this woman. I think the judges got it wrong and misinterpreted her answer as her answer was the best considering the question. I was shocked when this Trinbagonian queen only placed third overall. At number 7 spot, Indonesia in 2019. Frederica Kahl walked out in the striking gold sequined gown by designer Bex Saverio. This gown is heavily beaded and draped in simulated diamond that lined her sinuous body. Under this see-through sequin netting, she wore a nude-colored strapless corset bodysuit. The long train and sheer skirt with a sleeve going down the middle amplified her sexiness. I was also extremely happy that she wore the right shoes. Take note, ladies. These are the gold strappy heels I am always talking about. Next up, we have Guatemala in 2010. Our sexy senorita carried the gown rather than the other way around. Yes, she had a difficult time walking, but the gown really showed off the curves. And that evening, she was the center of attention. I love this gown. 
the high neck and revealing cleavage match with the sublime silhouette makes her stand out. The tight body line and delicate all over beading produce a mixture of savvy elegance, sexiness, chic and sophistication. She looked downright expensive and not afraid to show off her investments. Despite Jessica being a dark horse, she was actually one of my favorites. She would later finish in the top 10 and breaking a 26-year non-placement streak for Guatemala. So, eat your heart out, Nino Garcia, into my top 5. France in 2016, Iris Mitener of France was crowned in 2017 whilst wearing this form-fitting gold gown with long sleeves and geometric fitting. This handmade Wang Hai gown reportedly took months of intensive labor to complete. It certainly paid off as the end product would undoubtedly befit royals. In 2016, Mitiver was the only European delegate to progress to the semi-finals of the competition and became the second woman from her country to win the crown after 63 years when Christiane Martel won Miss Universe 1953. Mitiver is now a TV host and actress at number 4, Aiti in 2016. Raquel Felicia's dress was designed by Colombian designer Diego Mendoza. This long, stunning gold shimmering gown emphasized the Haitian candidate's height to her advantage. The dress was the perfect example of a well-made sequin dress. Many contestants have tried variations of this, but failed to show the richness and elegance of Raquel. Pelichet was an instant fun favorite that night. Like Iris Mitenere, she made history for being the first Haitian delegate to reach the Miss Universe Finals in 41 years. Raquel also captured the hearts of the Miss Universe audience when she recalled surviving the 2010 Haiti earthquake. In the third spot, we have South Africa in 2021. Lalela Miswane was crowned second runner-up at Miss Universe 2021 wearing a structured gold and brown gown, a creation of Dubai-based Filipino designer Ezra Santos. This unique creation was featured on the Vogue Arabia December issue and Miss Wani looked like the most beautiful golden warrior. Despite receiving a ton of backlash from some South Africans for going to Israel, Miss Wani's hard work and resilience paid off when she pulled off a second runner-up finish. Our number two spot goes to Australia in 2004. Jennifer Hawkins looked every inch the leggy supermodel when she stepped out for the 2004 Miss Universe Finals while wearing this vintage textured copper and gold dress designed by Bora Couture. According to my dear friend Peter Sereno from the Pageant Institute who trained Hawkins, the daring dress was incredibly heavy due to the amount of metal in the dress. It also intertwined with thick gold lace, gold beads, and all held together by only two clips. Hawkins look a million dollars wearing this 25,000 Australian dollar gown, and the shade was perfect for her tone. In 2004, Hawkins became the first Australian to make the semi-final since Delphos in 1993 and became our last blonde Miss Universe. From her beauty empire and property portfolio, Hawkins has accumulated an estimated fortune of $40 million, making her the most successful Miss Universe candidate to date. And finally, our number one spot goes to the Philippines in 2021. Beatrice Luigi Gomez wore a dazzling gold asymmetrical gown by Filipino fashion designer Francis Libiran. The opulent golden gown was inspired by the Visayan tribe called the Pintados. 
In the old days, the Visayan tribes had tattoos called pintados indented all over their bodies whenever they went to war as a symbol of valor. These patterns were embroidered and meshed with Francis Libiran's signature art deco details on this magnificent gown. And iridescent crystals were delicately hand-sewn to add extravagance to the piece. This golden goddess fought well, was proudly wearing her armband tattoo and claimed a top 5 finish for the Philippines in the 17th edition of Miss Universe pageant. Gomez broke beauty queen stereotypes as the first openly bisexual Miss Universe Philippines and as one who displayed her ink as part of her total look. Many pageant fans say a tattooed Miss Universe Philippines would be unimaginable under the past conservative reign of Binibining Pilipinas pageant director, Madame Estela Marquez de Araneta. Which amongst these gold gowns is your favorite? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and always remember, don't let the clothes or anyone define you. Just be yourself, whether in a pair of jeans or an evening gown.